Well, I guess it is Operation Save My Job from today. Wait, no, not from today. It's been coming for a little while, hasn't it? My manager rating or my manager confidence rating, as it's now called, is 33. It's not looking good, guys. I'm really quite worried about this. It really sucks. It's been bothering me a lot, actually. You know, I spend a lot of time just thinking about my content and this series. And since the last episode, which I recorded yesterday, I haven't been able to stop thinking about what the hell I can do to save my job and save the series. It's very likely, guys, that I'm going to get sacked. So all I can do now is try my absolute best to rescue this dire situation. Uh, basically, win the title. I have to win the league. Um, that's not going to happen. So I, I don't know what to say. I mean, I could still achieve the financial long-term objective, which was to sell youth players. Uh, 2.6 million. Yeah, I mean, obviously I've promoted two players from my youth academy. They're not really going to be worth that much, but you never know. I might get lucky. And uh, I don't even know if it'll count because the window shut. Can I even sell those players outside of the window and it still counts? This is it. My last season to do it. Remaining seasons one. So even if I did get this done, it's only a medium priority. It's not really going to help me out. The brand exposure. And this, this is the problem, guys. My critical priority to get seven clean sheets in a row is almost impossible in FIFA 22. For someone like me that isn't great at defending, look, you guys know I admit it all the time, that's not happening. Um, and then obviously the one that's bugged out, sign one young player, zero out of one, and it's finished. I can't even try and complete this now. It's not looking good, guys. It really isn't. Um, obviously, I did not reach the semi-final of the FA Cup. We got knocked out by Leicester. Uh, and I've got to win the title, which just isn't going to happen. Reaching the final of the Champions League as well, just hilarious. So, uh, in fact, what we're going to do is take a look at the calendar. I've got Leeds coming up next. I've got Brentford. And then I've got Chelsea, Leicester, Manchester United, Man City. I'm done for. I'm actually done for. <sighs> I'm going to try my best. I'm going to try my absolute best. There has been a patch that I've just downloaded. The, the newest patch is now out on consoles. As you're watching this, it's probably been out for a few days. There has been some changes to the, the AI blocking, the amount of shots they block. So maybe that's going to help me out. But um, realistically, what I need is the AI to stop shooting in the top corners like they constantly do. It always seems to go in. Anyway, here we go, guys. First game of the episode. First game to, I guess, get myself on the journey to survive this job. It's looking unlikely, but you never know. I'm going to try my absolute best. Is second place even good enough? I actually have a feeling it wouldn't. I think, yeah, it's first place or nothing. Oh, my God, they've got Gravenberch in the team. Wow, they've made some big signings, haven't they? And Bolo's in there as well. Oh my god, they're already in. Okay, it was offside. The shot wasn't great. Here we go. Saka. In for Enesiri. It's not a good pass. Come on, Saka. You're so much better than that. Let's go again here. I'm just going to put that over the top. Oh, what a ball. Martinelli is in behind. And he's made it 1-0 into the top corner. <laughs> that's exactly what I've been conceding pretty much every single time. Oh, that's just cruel. Martinelli goes over to the away fan section and just, I mean, it's its right in front of them. <laughs> Antagonising them. What a finish, by the way. Love that. Mbolo's got through Gabriel. Ben White now. Come on, get a foot in there. Come on, Matt, don't do this. Mbolo shoots. It's blocked by Tierney. Tomiyasu keeps it in. Oh, that's offside, surely. It's not offside. He's played it backwards anyway. The shot's going to come in. Ooh. Ooh. It was close. Hey, look, if they're going to ultimately pass it out to Dan James every time, I will take that because, let's be honest, his shooting its not going to be anywhere near as good as Mbolo's, for example. Oh, it's a good cross. Saka. No! How are you missing that? Oh, come on. If I make it 2-0 there, I'm feeling much, much more relaxed about things. I don't like a 1-0 lead in this game. I'm very fragile, okay? 
Go on, Enesiri. Get in behind here. Back in for Saka. And he's been taken out, but it was a fair challenge from Gravenbirch. What a signing that is. This is what goes through in my brain. I just thought to myself, oh, look, it's almost half time and I haven't conceded. Maybe I can get seven clean sheets in a row. That's literally what my brain was just thinking. Go on. Oh, my God. I'm mental, aren't I? It's impossible, surely. There, there's no way. There's absolutely no way. I'm halfway through one game. There's no. <laughs> it's not going to happen. I'm just stupid sometimes. That's the kind of thing that I just think of. I'm thinking of everything I can do to save this right now. Seven clean sheets in a row. Win the title. And it, it's just not possible. I just give myself false hope. I'm just trying my absolute best mentally to stay in the game. Imagine if I somehow got to six games without conceding in a row and then I go into that seventh game. Can you imagine the pressure of knowing that if I concede a goal, that would probably get me fired? I, no, <laughs> I can't imagine that. I would bottle it for sure. Here comes the goal, guys. Oh, hang on. Oh, really? I've missed the tackle. Please don't lose that. No. Oh, what a block, Gabrielle. The goal isn't coming. It's meant to be the clean sheet today. And I've given it away again. Yeah, time to make some changes, I think. I'm going to take Partey off. He's not having a great game. I'm going to bring in Sambi. I'm going to go with Maitland-Niles and Pepe. I haven't used Pepe properly in a little while. And actually, his morale is unhappy. He's not playing enough. So that's another way I can potentially get my manager rating up a little bit. Just have a really happy squad. But, uh, oh dear, that was a poor touch from Mbolo. It's going to be difficult to get everyone happy. Corner here for Leeds. It's going to be whipped in by Demirbay. Oh, okay, okay. No, no, no. Oh, if that goes in. Hello, Pepe's in. And that is game over. Pepe comes on, gets a goal. Fantastic. I'm really happy when Pepe comes on and gets a goal. It just shows to me that whilst Sack is my main guy, I've always got that back up. You know, Pepe is a superb player in FIFA mainly. I, I don't I don't dislike him in real life. I just think he's so horrendously inconsistent. He loses the ball a lot and he's got that price tag looming over his head all the time. But in FIFA, he's just unbelievably good. I'd almost say he's better than Saka. But um, I don't know. Saka's just my star boy, isn't he? Can't be taking Saka out. Oh, no. Oh my God, the clean sheet is still intact. What is going on here? I've learned to defend. <laughs> is it the new patch? Pepe's in again here. I have noticed, by the way, that AI are not blocking as many shots. Okay. Um, <laughs> I wanted to give that to Martinelli, but it's gone to end the series, and that is a 3-0 win. Should we just get straight into the next game? Let's just go. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. It's done, guys. It's done. I had a feeling. I honestly 100% believe that this is an unfair termination. Well, it's the next day. Obviously, I'm absolutely gutted. I've been stressing over this for the last 12 hours. I just... Don't feel like this is fair. It's so, so harsh. It's broken. That's what it is. I've gone through the patch notes of the last two updates to the game, and a lot of the problems I've had have since been fixed. If you think back to when I started this Arsenal save, it was in early release. The game wasn't even out yet, so I was playing the early edition of the game, which had all of those bugs and those problems with the objectives, and that is ultimately what got me sacked. Those horrendously unfair objectives in season two. So this is my decision. And I know some people will be upset by this. Look, I got fired and that's it. Unlucky Matt, move on. No, 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 no. It's, it's completely not right. I can't. I can't, guys. This is my biggest career mode every year. And I'm nowhere near finished. I'm just approaching the end of season two. You've got to be kidding me. No chance. Here is my solution, and it's what I really want to do. I really, really would appreciate your understanding that this was... I mean, whilst I wasn't playing particularly well, but let's be fair, I, I won the FA Cup in season one. 
I somehow got into the top four as well. So I was in the Champions League in season two. Yeah, I got knocked out by PSG and I got absolutely slammed by the three best forwards in the game. But in the league, I'm still fighting in that top three. Whilst I have been sacked, I don't think that's fair. I think the objectives were, were unfair and, and very broken. So what I've done, guys, is I have recreated everything. If you're wondering why I look so tired, that's because I have been playing FIFA non-stop all day today because I've recreated everything. I'm, I'm matching everything. Honestly, I've won the FA Cup in season one. I've made the same signings and I've sold the same players. And I even managed to get most of them to the right team. I waited for actual teams that had signed them before to come back in. I did the same swap deals. Holdings gone to Wolves so we could have Neves. I've I've sent... Um, oh, who was it that went to Sevilla? I think it was Mavropanos, wasn't it? So I could get in the Siri. I've recreated everything as accurately as I can. In season two, same signings in, same signings out. I've gone out of the Champions League in the round of 16 stage, although it wasn't PSG this time. It was Bayern, actually, which was horrendous. Very difficult game, but I, I, I went out. I lost in the FA Cup. I'm basically in the exact same position in the league. I'm in that top four spot. Everything is exactly the same. And I'm starting from there because the objectives are fixed now. I don't have that insane pressure of getting to the final of a Champions League and winning the Premier League. And look, guys, this sucks. It really sucks. But come on, man. It's my biggest series of the year. It's that time of year where my channel does its best because of the Arsenal career mode. And I'm not I'm not letting those stupid, broken objectives ruin it. So that's my decision. I hope that 99% of you will agree with me and stick with me because ultimately it's... It's too big of a series just to throw away like that. Uh, the plan will be from now to go towards the end of season two and finish strongly, get as, as best of a finish as I can. And funnily enough, by the way, the same teams were promoted and the same two teams, bar one, were relegated. So I'm at, I've actually got the same fixtures. Nothing's changed. The only thing that's different is a few of my players are slightly lower rated than they were because obviously I've gone through a little bit quicker. And... Some of the other teams don't have all of the same signings they made previously. But honestly, the accuracy is it's insane. I was so happy with it. It took me so long to achieve it. A few, a few retries, a few attempts to get it right. I'm extremely happy with it. You can barely tell. Honestly, I, I urge you, just believe me, you, you're not really going to know the difference at all other than you know it happened. Okay, so we'll, we'll finish the season. I'm going to aim for that top four. And then when season three rolls around, the objectives will be, I think, probably the same as they were for season two. I'm probably going to have to win the league in season three and get to at least the semi-finals of the Champions League. But guess what? The other objectives that weren't working before will be working. I'll be able to achieve the other objectives, which is massive. So that's my decision. Yeah, I could have put this to a vote. I'll tell you now, as I got sacked from Arsenal... I was offered the job to take over Swansea. And that excited me. At first, my decision was to just take the job. But guess what? They were bottom of the league by 16 points with eight games to go. 16 points from safety with eight games to go. It's impossible to save them. And I'm not ready to go down to the championship, go back to the Premier League and then build my way up to the Champions League with Swansea. But what I have done is I have saved that in a different save file. So if I decide to do that, I can. But for now, guys, I really want to get back on track with the Arsenal career mode with proper objectives. And again, it sucks, guys. And I've honestly, I've never been this stressed before about a series. My channel's doing so well at the moment and I'm absolutely gutted that I'd say it's 20% my fault, 80% the game's fault. Genuinely, yes, I could have beaten PSG if I absolutely try harded and didn't let them have those shots and yeah, but it's just so difficult right now with the game where it is. And the, the main reason I got sacked is not because I lost to PSG, but because of what the objective was. And that was to get to the final of the Champions League. And I got knocked out in the round of 16, which by the way, is still really good for a club like Arsenal. So my season two objectives, when I rebuilt it, 
were nothing like they were in the real thing, in the real save. Completely different, so much more fair and easier to complete. So, yeah, I know I'm 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 rambling a little bit. I'm just so sad about this. It's it's completely thrown everything off. And um I've worked really hard today, really hard to make sure that everything is exactly the same. As I said, all the transfers I made have been recreated. I think Enesiri was actually more expensive this time around, so I've lost more money. Um, I sold all, all of the players that left to the right, the right teams. Um, and also, an added bonus, guys, I've got Patino. So he's a young player at Arsenal that I really wanted to use this year, but he wasn't in the game when I started the save. And then guess what happened a week later? The update came out and Patino was in the team. So I've actually got Patino now. And I think that's awesome. A young, talented player that's going to be a, a future player for Arsenal that I've now got in my squad. So I'm going to stop rambling. This is the end of today's episode because I have had no time whatsoever to go further. I've literally just about caught up with where I am. So I will play those remaining games they are the same fixtures. I've got the same team. The only difference is maybe they don't have a couple of players. For example, Graven Birch, I don't think will be at Leeds anymore. He was in this episode. So, um, yeah, I really, really hope you guys understand. I, I want to say a massive thank you to everyone that's reached out. So many comments in the Discord. If you want to join the Discord, please do. I've got a club council chat. And uh, to be fair, 90% of the comments have been just restart. And, and let the objectives be fixed because you guys playing career modes over the last few weeks would have had all the latest updates. I had the early build of the game, which wasn't working properly. Let me round it up. I'm going to conclude it for you. For those of you that are doing your homework and not listening 100% right now, I got sacked in my Arsenal career mode in season two. My objectives were way too harsh and throw in a couple of really bad performances. I got sacked and it, it's never happened to me before. I got offered the Swansea job. They are so far in the relegation zone. They've got like 12 points. They need, I think it was 28 to survive. And that's with eight games to go. It's not going to happen. And I'm, I don't want to do a Swansea rebuild right now and take them to the top. I want to continue with the Arsenal career mode. So to conclude that, I am staying with Arsenal. I've recreated it. We are going to go into the end of season two with the same fixtures, the same team, the same players, relatively close to the same stats as well. Some players have done a little bit less growth. Um, I've done all of the position changes like I did, all the same training drills, the, the development plans, I mean. Um, and I just go from there. I really hope you understand. It's absolutely killing me. I've been so stressed. Like, you know, when you're stressed and anxious about something, it's very rare for me to feel like that with an episode of career mode because I just play a game and upload it. But this one I've been genuinely getting really stressed about because I'm so worried that people are going to be mad at me for recreating it. Please, please, please just allow me this one little um, rewind, if that makes sense. But I really appreciate the support in this series. It has been incredible. Um, although this episode sucks and um, I'm sorry. I am. I'm sorry, but I'm going to do my best to make this as fun as possible. We'll be back tomorrow where I will update you on everything in game. Um, I've got a bunch of screenshots of all the results and, and stuff like that. So you guys can keep up to date with it. And then we'll go into season three where it's going to be really tough again. I'm, I'm very interested to see what objectives I get in season three.